All right, so now, both well, for me, as I was saying, I would have just been at the open of this entire move to the upside, right? You know, so, so that makes it. Two times, right? Time that this guy has made what you guys call the breakout block. I want to look at you know. I'm gonna general, okay. All right, so now this makes it the second time that Vic Ten One S has played what you guys call the breaker block. All right, and then or what you guys might know as um, that. Okay. Was there also a smart money play around here? All right. So right here, let's see how we could have gotten a play from here. Now, remember I said, when this guy begins to move, it doesn't come back. It really comes back. Right, it really comes back, so you really would have to be like precise with your entries. Although this is higher time frame, let's see one hour. I see what happened there if we could have gotten an entry. Is it always going back? Um, where was that is? Okay, let's go back to the four hours. Because I want to, I want to be sure that we can get lower time frame plays on this guy. But I think because of past data, we can't see past data on trading. But then, okay, I think I like this now. Now, this would have been our previous what? Previous what, guys? Previous I. All right, amazing, amazing. So we had lower I, lower low. Now they actually did come back, but it took a very, very long while. So I think this is number five. If you are going to be trading VIX 10-1S, you really, really have to be patient. All right. You may go days without seeing a good setup. Or you may go days waiting for your setup. Okay. And 
what then happened? Let us see. All right. So here, when they came back, what did they do? Anybody that had their limit here would have been stopped out. Right? They took everybody out and closed a bit above this lower eye. Okay? And then I think... Ever since then, did they come back again? Oh, wow. So the idea, I really wish you could go to the, to the lower time frame to see what happened here, OK? But then look at these guys. Like, this is very clear. I are low, I are I. Break of structure. And then for the first time, they did what? They gave us that opportunity to enter. Like they actually did come back. Okay? So if you were maybe playing the open of this entire push up, you probably might have been stopped out, all right? Because they actually now came back. So this institutional can do. And when they did, like, get, this thing is clear, all right? Let me show something. When they came back here, who can tell me what they did? Like, I need someone with a very sharp eyes to tell me what happened when they came back. You can unmute if you're not in a noisy environment. Sniper entry. What did you say? Sniper entry. Ah, uh, yes. Beyond sniper entry, what, what did they really do? That, um, liquidity. Liquidity. Uh, someone else to try. The the just the that can do. Balance of can do. Well, they move from the place with speed. The momentum to the downside was high. Okay, okay, okay. Let, let's just go. It's not as though <laughs> you guys are wrong, bro. but let me show us. Let's switch to the line chart. When we came back, what did they do? This is it. I R I. I R low. I R I break of structure like it was so clear can you see it now i i i low break of structure so if you had missed this entry plus uh okay this this candle is a weakless candle right? It only has a week to the top. It does not have a week to the downside. These kinds of candles are also imbalances. So what did they do? They played the open of that candle and that was super sniper. All right? So that's why I was explaining yesterday that 
it's our checklist that you know makes it sniper. If they obey it, we will have a sniper entry. All right. So now for the first time after redistributing, what did they do? Let us mark out this last push to the upside. Okay. Now, they came back, but they didn't come back into the open of that candle. What did they do? Somebody tell me what they did. What they played here. Imbalance. Imbalance. So is someone noting it? How many times have we now seen them play an imbalance? So we, we, we should keep noting it like that. All right. Please. Can everybody hear me? I can hear you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. To just, you know, maybe connect via device audio, blah, 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 blah. All right. So they played the imbalance. All right. So now we have seen them play imbalance. We have seen them play smart money cube. We have seen them play breakout blocks. But we want to know which one is consistent. So let's keep going down. All right. And then was it respecting structure? Of course, lower I. Lower low, lower I. Did it give us a new low? Yes. Now, this is another thing. Let's see if they came back to redistribute like they did here. All right. So, what do we do? I add. All right. I allo. I, 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 another break of structure. Okay. So let's mark this imbalance and see if they came back for that imbalance. Or they came back for the institutional candle. Or they even came back at all. Oh, wow. See what they did. Now, this is something to, to note. If they violated this guy and then they came back to one, okay, let, let's see. Let's let's mark out that um, institutional candle. Remember, they played the imbalance here, right? And left this other imbalance too. Okay, they left that imbalance. And that last all can do, the institutional can do. <laughs> okay, so let's just put our, this is that can do, right? So let's go forward into the future. Guys, what did they play? Like someone can tell me what they played without even going back. Imbalance. Imbalance. 
So this is like the third time these guys coming for imbalance. This, this is the third time this guy is coming for imbalance. All right. Now, again, what did they do after they came for that imbalance? Let me remove this. Okay. It's bad testing. So we can have our chat. Mercy. Yes. Uh, hi. I am low. I am high. What was the net break of structure? So they always distribute and redistribute. Do you understand that now, guys? Yes, sir. We can so, see it. Let's now go forward. So it means that we have spotted them coming back for imbalances. And after they take the imbalance, they end up redistributing. So this now, we can say that this is common with Vixen 1S. Okay. So now let's mark this institutional candle again. And let's go forward in time to see how long it took them before they came back. All right. So eventually, when they came back, what did we have? Lower I, lower low, break of structure. So now they shifted from being bearish all year long into being bullish. Okay. So now let's now see if in the in the bullish structure they will come for imbalances and reaccumulate, or they will come for imbalances, or they will come for breakout blocks. I'm push. All right. I, I'm just trying to keep this as simple as possible. And one of that thing I'm showing us is how to study your charts on your own. Okay. So if they have done this once, twice, three times, let me see what they will do again. Like this is really, really how we would we would understand this thing, guys. All right. So let's see. After they broke that structure, let's see what they rejected from here. Okay, this is an institutional candle, right? Swap this lows. Okay. And I'm sure if you go to H1 or there, we would see. So, what did they do? They reaccumulated. But did they come back? Yes, I think they did. Okay. Yes, sir, they did. They did. But what did they actually play? Let's measure this whole push. They didn't even come to the 50%. Just a bit below the open. I think there's a block you guys call this one. King of the block. Right? Yeah. 
Let me remove this. Delete now. Okay. Like this, this um, candle here, this last one, this ozone, is this what you guys call a mitigation block or what? I don't know. But then they came into the open of the push down. And then ever since then, they have been going up. All right. So this is why I said this guy ranges a lot. Look at this old range here. And then I think there was still another moment of range that they had. Yeah. So, so. And for those that trade white white off, right? This was a very clear signature that they were going to start going down, right? So I don't do much of work off. I just like to keep it simple. So um, higher high, higher low, higher high, break of structure. Did they come back? I doubt it. They didn't come back. So it tells us that these guys don't really, really come back, you know, after the break structure. At best, they will come for imbalances. All right. So let's now go to, let's see what the current move has been given us. All right. So that we can go to lower time frame and see what happens. Now look at this again. They broke structure here. They did come back. What did they play? This imbalance. And after playing that imbalance, what did they do? Reaccumulated. So lower I, lower low, break, right? But if they will now come back, trust me, they are coming back to eat your stop loss. <laughs> because this is what it has been doing over time. If it comes back, your SL is probably going to get it. Now look at this. I was looking at a break of structure here too. They came back, boom, close below. All right. So now let's now see. Currently, they have broken structure again. On this, I think they even came back. Lower I, lower low, break of structure, right? They came back into this imbalance. Can you see? This imbalance was what they played. And then ever since then, they have been broken yes, up. Man. You know, so this tells me that number one, VIX 101S plays imbalances a lot. And I think there was a time Avila had a weekly outlook with us. I was not on that call, but I realized I came back to say that um, VIX 101S played imbalance that was talked about on the call. How many of us can remember that call? If you can remember that particular weekly outlook, I think um, it was just VIX 10 one 
and the extent I was looked at. All right, so this also now validates. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm into. Okay, I thought someone was saying something. All right, so this validates the fact that Vixen 1S plays imbalances a lot. And added to that um, imbalance play, they would either reaccumulate or redistribute at that imbalance. All right? So, it means that if I'm trading this guy, I want to look out for imbalances at my POIs. Now, let's use this as an example. This is an imbalance right here. This is also an imbalance right here. Right? So let's see if they will play this imbalance and reject. I want them to play this, in, right? I want them to play that imbalance because of stop loss. So SL can be, you know, somewhere around here. All right. So let us see. This is how we can use what we have back tested and use it to predict future price reaction. Okay. So let's see that. Um, you guys can just do it on your own and just see how it will play out. All right. So I think we have been able to come up with something tangible on understanding VIX 10 1 S. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, so um, we can still do for the back testing, future testing, front testing, and all of those things. All right, so. And it's because of time, or that is not like I'm just focused on four hours alone. It's because of time. That's why. I didn't go down, you know, other time frames and all of that. You know, it's actually because of time, not because of anything. Although for me, I love H4 a lot. Right? I love H4 a lot. Now, even if you don't uh now. Same thing, guys, same concept. Same thing, they didn't change it. They played that complete feed of the imbalance. <laughs> All right, and then they just went off. So this imbalance, so yeah, um, where was it? You know, this was played, right? So this guy just likes to play imbalances. Did he play 50%? Just a bit. Okay. So, so once you can look out for your structure, your range, your area of um, liquidity at entry, the next thing you should be targeting for Vixen 1S is what can we do it a loud chorus? Mask wire imbalance. 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 <laughs> distribution and uh, accumulation. Exactly. You see that the distribution, yeah. see that reaccumulation are that imbalance. So just be praying that. that. Now the thing is time. We are running out of time already. If you go to a lower time frame, you would actually see an entry 
after the reaccumulated or redistributed on that lower time frame. You can practice this on your own. All these areas that I showed you, go to lower time frames, see if they came back and gave an entry. All right. So this is where I like to end it for tonight. Let me can I ask a quick question? Can I say something? Um this, yes, yes, yes. on this Okay, thank you. On this particular this one uh, 10 one is 10 one is I was actually following it even when price got there, so this reaccumulation. But yeah. this particular um the last set candle where price broke uh, had a break of structure, that's last candle. If you observe very well, I placed an entry there. So what I was taking out. When price came Wait, back, you can annotate oh. and show me that here. Okay, um, just a minute, please. Oh. Okay. Uh, sorry, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There. Okay. Yeah. Yes. I, I placed an, an entry there. So, but okay. my stop loss was so I was taking out. So I'm not saying that if I had taken this other one, if I had looked here instead, it might have uh, favored favored me and all that. So I want to ask that because I was saying that that hey, candle was the one that that was a break of structure. I yeah. should be. I shouldn't be taking. The price took me out and then up. All right. So for me, right? Um, okay. I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see why you were taking out on. This was the first entry you had, right? Yes. Yes. I I, I took the fifty percent of that. Uh, the last sell can bearish candle. This one, yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, you shouldn't have been stopped out actually because ideally, this is where you should have your stop. And if we like zoom in, I'm not sure the price got there. I think I can see why my entry was in that week. Yeah, my stop was within the range. Yes, you understand. So, okay, that's that's it. Oh, just do it. All right, so yeah, thank you, sir. Thank you so much, guys. Yeah, our stuff should thank be outside so the room. Outside the room. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you, sir. So thank you guys for joining. I hope you guys learned something. Thank you so much for your time. Um, yes, sir. I pray that. All of us to buy legs or size 350. <laughs> Merci beaucoup. All right, so Avila, I'm done, sir. I think I will. Okay, thank you very much, Coach Dami. Thank you so, so much. Um, <clears throat> let me quickly ask how many of us back tested the 110 after the last session? As after last class, how many I, of us I, went back to back? Think so I'm on, I'm on a trip. Okay, that's V10, right? Yeah. Yes, yes, sir. Okay, how many of us have a journal for this thing that we are doing? How many of us have a journal for it? Like your observations for each asset. How many of you have a journal for it? I do. Nobody. I have okay. I do. See, your journal may not have to be your, your journal may not have to be your journal may not have to be uh hard copy. Your journal can be a soft copy. You can create a personal channel you can on Telegram for yourself and name it. I have a personal channel. I call it IOS Trading Journal. Every of my trades I take goes there. My before and after, everything goes there, and I'm the only one that have access to that channel. So if I want to, if I want to check anything or test anything or see why anything happened, I'll just go there, filter out whatever I need to filter and go there. Everything we discussed yesterday, I dropped it there. 
So even if you change your device, you will still, you will still meet your channel there. So it's not necessary, you don't necessarily need to buy a new note. You can create a channel for yourself. Target a something channel, uh, maybe Caleb's channel, or Baba Today channel, or Living House channel, trading channel, or trading journal. You know, just, just be creative about it. And then you drop your stuff, your before and after. When you see a setup, you don't need to take it before you mark it up. Do the markup, send it there. Encourage yourself. When you begin to see consistent uh, results, it will boost your, your moral. Do you understand? So thank you very much, Kodami. Uh, the video will be dropped for everyone to watch, for those that would like to watch, for everybody to watch. And then the, 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 the session continues tomorrow. By the, we still have a few slots available.